Welcome to the lesson on creating live boards. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to create a new live board, then populate it with answers from search data and spotter, and pin existing answers to a new live board. There are two ways you can create a new live board. The first way is to build a blank live board, which is done from the live boards page. Here, you can click the Create Live Board button at the top. In the pop-up, enter a name and description. Typically, you'll want to make live boards discoverable, so check this box. It allows teammates who are in the same ThoughtSpot user group and have access to the data source on which the content is being built to access the live board. After clicking Create, the new live board will open. You'll be prompted to search a data source to populate the live board with answers. The second way to create a new live board is to already have searched a data source and found an answer you want to include on a live board. We'll take an example answer that already exists and use that. In the top right of the answer, you'll see a pin button. Next to the pin button is a drop down that shows the last live board that you edited. If you were in the middle of preparing a live board and wanted to pin this answer to that one, you could just click pin. So it's important to always verify that the live board name shown here is the one you want to pin your work to. In this case, we're building a new live board, so this isn't the one we want. We can change the active live board by clicking on the drop down. The pin to live board box opens, where you can select an existing live board or create a new one. To create a new live board, click the Create Live Board button and type a name in the text field. Then click the check mark or press Enter to finish. Now let's click Pin to add the answer to the live board. Note that when an answer is added to a live board, a message briefly appears at the bottom of the screen, and you can click View Live Board to open it. There's another existing answer we want to add to this new live board. Notice how the active live board is the one we're creating now, so that's great. Next, let's say we want to create a new visualization and add it to the live board. We'll use Spotter to make it. Let's say we want to include a visualization about product sales in the live board we're building. And we'll be sure to toggle this answer onto Chart View so that we can see how Spotter visualizes it. To add the resulting answer to the live board, we'll click Pin. Then, we need to select the live board that we've been working with. And lastly, confirm the pin. Before we're finished with our live board, let's add one more answer to it. Let's say we want to create a KPI to track monthly sales. This answer visualizes monthly sales. But let's configure it to be a KPI chart. And it's good to go. Let's go ahead and pin it to our live board. Now let's take a look at the live board we've created. All the visualizations appear in the order that they were pinned to this live board. Continue to the next lesson to learn about formatting a live board.